Hello everyone, welcome to Workshop Wednesday. This is Penny and I'm super excited to come and show you. I have created some fabric flowers for my journals and for uh, my pockets and things like that. So I wanted to come in on here. I do have my sewing machine and uh, there's another one. So I wanted to come in on here. This is a different kind, uh, but they're all super, they're all different. Different styles and things like that. Different buttons, different ones. So, um, I like taking the scraps. Now, you can do this with paper too, um, but I like taking scraps and buttons and leftover. And I, I even crochet some to stick on top, but um, just any kind of leftover fabric or any kind of things like that. And I do have usually put a big, beautiful button in the middle of it. I've got different styles. So I wanted to come on here and show you about this, but I also wanted to talk to you about making paper clusters. Like if you have any junk mail and stuff like that, um, you can also make, anybody's interested in uh, making these or whatever. I, I save these, put these on my journals, my clear pockets and things like that. So who is maybe take, you can even do this with a ribbon. What we're going to do, I've got some ribbon here. What we're going to do is we're going to take this ribbon and um, there's several ways we can do this. this I'm going to run a big old huge straight stitch. I'm not going to back stitch right on the edge of this uh, fabric or er. now what I've got here is top and bottom thread as you can see right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold this thread with this hand I'm gonna come over here at this end and I'm gonna separate the strings out now I'm not gonna pull the string completely out I'm just gonna gather the, it's usually the bob, the bottom one. Make a ruffle is what we're doing. Moving the fabric down. Okay. So now that I have this little curly Q ruffle, this edge here I'm going to put underneath. And I'm going to let it turn on itself. To make a rosette. See that? I'm going to come to my sewing. Now you can do this by hand. But I'm going to come to my sewing, because I'm going to put a button here. I'm going to come to my sewing, back to my sewing machine. And I'm going to do a um, zigzag stitch to hold it just in the center. So there is our little flower. Now we could put a button here, or if you like this side better. But I usually use on top. So let's see if I got a button in all this wonderful goodness here that will actually uh, go. And I've got some needle and thread over here uh, to sew the button on. Now you could absolutely glue it on. And sometimes uh, I will actually um, put um, the, the thread through the button and then just glue it on. This is not a button, but I still can use it. Let me put the lid back on my jar so I don't lose these buttons out here. Alright, so I can absolutely use this charm. Cut now. Put it here, and I can sew it right up there, and then I can glue it if I want to. Voila. 
So I hope you have enjoyed this today, this Workshop Wednesday. Stay tuned for next week's Workshop Wednesday. And um, I hope to see you all post some and make some and try them. You can make them with your hand, of course. You don't need a sewing machine and sew them by hand. But there you go. Have a wonderful day, everybody.